Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. Next week, over 200,000 people will descend on a usually sleepy corner of Somerset for one of the world's best loved festivals, Glastonbury. Those lucky enough to beat the notorious ticket queues will be treated to performances from the likes of Dua Lipa, Coldplay, and SZA, with Shania Twain performing in the traditional Sunday legend slot. But those who missed out during general sale and resale will surely be feeling huge FOMO, despite the weather expected to be wetter than average at the Worthy Farm Festival. However, there are legitimate, and if you not so legitimate, ways to ensure your spot at the five-day bonanza without necessarily having to shell out the £335 ticket prices. Here, usnews.co.uk speaks to three people who have got into Glastonbury for free and how they did it. From makeup to rucksacks, money and warm bottles of pee. I've seen it all when it comes to litter picking at Glastonbury. You'd think working on picking up rubbish at one of the world's most legendary festivals would mean bagging wrappers and rubbish, but in reality, you find things you'd least expect. Among our weird and wonderful discoveries, we've seen stacks of empty backpacks abandoned every year. I found a brand new MAC lipstick once, which I bet someone was sad to have dropped. Of course, we don't get to keep anything we come across, everything is recycled or donated to charity. But it's when everyone deserts Worthy Farm on Monday that we find the really weird stuff. Sometimes, whole camping sets are just abandoned. And we find a lot of cash and banknotes that have been dropped. We do also find a lot of bottles of urine, for people who get caught short. It can be absolutely vile. It was working at another festival that pushed me to apply to Glasto. One of the first gigs I worked at was BBC Radio 1's big weekend when it came to Carlisle my hometown, in 2011 with my friend. We were only working the bar, but it was so much fun and it gave me a real taste for working festivals. My aunt lives near Glastonbury, and she's been working with the recycling team at the event for quite a few years now, before moving over to the litter pickers. She always puts a group together so I joined and I've been doing it with her ever since, and I love it. You pay the equivalent of a ticket to do litter picking, but once you've done all your shifts, you get your money back so it doesn't technically cost you anything. We choose to give our money to the Southampton Hospital charity, as it means a lot to our family. For a volunteer gig, your shifts really aren't too bad. We're expected to work Friday until Monday, and we're each allocated an area that we have to be responsible for. It does mean early starts, you work from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. picking up rubbish, and because Glastonbury is so big on recycling, we have to be careful to make sure we put the right things in the right bags. In 2019, the organizers of Glastonbury banned plastic, and we noticed far fewer bottles that we picked up. Because people love the event so much, festival goers do tend to respect the rules. After we finish our shift at about midday, we're completely free to do whatever we want. We don't miss any of the music at all and we can still see all the headliners, as most of the stages open between 11.30 a.m. and midday. We can stay up as late as we like and enjoy what's around, as long as we can get up on time for our 6 a.m. shift start. We actually have things quite comfortable as volunteers, compared to most of the campers. We're given our own camping ground away from other festival goers complete with our own showers. We also get two food tokens a day so we can have whatever we want from the volunteers' food tent. It's all vegetarian and vegan, and you can get baguettes and cakes and fruit. You can get breakfast, like a little veggie fry up, or you can get an evening meal instead. It's really good and you feel looked after. I'd definitely advise people who have always wanted to go to Glastonbury but have struggled to ever get tickets to give litter picking a go. You can sign up through Glastonbury directly, and before the lineup is announced, but there are numerous ways to get in through other volunteering methods, such as through Oxfam and Water Aid. It's just a really fulfilling way to go to a festival and it's nice to know you're helping the farm. Everyone is so lovely to you when they find out you're a volunteer. I enjoy it so.